Every so often, a piece of technology appears that makes engineers around the world stop and pay attention. It does not happen often, and when it does, the excitement grows quickly. This time, the source of that excitement comes from Munich, where a startup called Deep Drive has built an electric motor that looks normal from the outside, but hides a bold idea inside. Their design challenges long-standing assumptions about how a motor should handle forces, heat, and magnetic flow. The real surprise lies in the motor's winding structure. Today, we will explore what makes this design special and why automakers are so interested. A closer look at standard EV motors. To understand why deep drive's solution matters, it helps to walk through how a typical electric vehicle motor works. Most EVs today use a radial flux permanent magnet motor. Inside this motor, the stator remains fixed while the rotor rotates inside or around it. The stator contains copper windings that carry a three-phase alternating current. When this current flows, it creates a rotating magnetic field that interacts with the magnets inside the rotor. This magnetic interaction causes the rotor to spin and deliver torque to the wheels. The forces produced move outward from the center, which is why the design is called radial flux. It is a proven and reliable architecture used in millions of electric vehicles. But it also includes a key component called the yoke, a heavy steel ring that sits around the stator. The yoke has three important roles. It provides structural strength so the stator does not twist or move. It guides the magnetic loops that run from the north to the south poles. And it acts as a path for heat to move away from the copper windings into the cooled outer parts of the motor. While the yoke is essential for making traditional motors work, it also adds weight and does not contribute directly to producing torque. It is a passive part, and because of that, engineers have always wondered if there was a better way. Removing the yoke, however, creates new problems, problems that Deep Drive spent years trying to solve. Deep Drive's dual rotor sandwich geometry. Deep Drive's breakthrough starts with a dual rotor design. Instead of having a single rotor interacting with the stator, their motor uses an inner rotor and an outer rotor. The stator sits between them like the filling in a sandwich, and both rotors spin together in perfect synchronization. This configuration instantly doubles the active magnetic surface area. More surface area means more torque for the same size. More interaction between the stator and the rotor means higher efficiency. Dual rotor motors exist in other forms, but they are almost always axial flux machines, which use a different orientation. Axial flux motors can be very powerful, but are difficult and costly to manufacture in large numbers because they require very tight tolerances and complex assembly. The yoke cuts iron use by a huge margin, reduces size, and lowers losses. But once the yoke disappears, there is nothing left to stop the stator from twisting under magnetic forces or overheating under load. These two problems threaten to limit the entire concept. So Deep Drive needed a new idea that could replace the yoke's mechanical and thermal roles without adding weight or extra parts. The yoke problem and why it needed a replacement. When engineers talk about the yoke, they do not usually speak with much excitement. It is a passive ring of metal and does not produce any torque, but it is very important. Without it, the stator teeth could move under magnetic pressure and the copper windings could get dangerously hot. In a dual rotor system, these challenges become even more intense. Magnets on both sides of the stator pull and twist the windings in different directions at the same time. The forces are complex, uneven, and strong. If the windings bend or deform even slightly, the motor's efficiency drops, the rotor may rub against the stator, and the entire system becomes unreliable. Heat is another major concern. Copper creates heat when current flows through it, and motors become less efficient as temperatures rise. The yoke normally gives that heat a direct path into the motor housing, where coolant can carry it away. Without the yoke, heat must move through the windings themselves or through a new structure. That structure needs to be strong, conductive, and simple enough to manufacture at scale. Many attempts at yokeless designs failed because engineers could not solve these issues without creating new problems. Deep Drive spent years developing a winding system that could take on the yoke's job while also performing its normal electrical function. 
Their final solution is not just clever, it is the real key to the entire motor. The cross-wound, torsion-resistant copper structure. Deep Drive's greatest innovation is hidden in the stator windings. Instead of using flexible wire coils, they use copper bars arranged in a patented cross-wound pattern. These bars create a truss-like structure that is mechanically rigid, similar to the frame of a bridge or the support beams in a building. This design allows the windings to resist twisting forces from both rotors. When magnets pull at the copper, the truss geometry channels the forces evenly through the structure instead of letting the bars bend or twist. This makes the stator extremely stable even without a yoke. When I spoke with Alexander Rosen, Deep Drive's chief engineer, he emphasized that these windings also serve as a direct thermal pathway. One end of each bar connects to the motor housing. Heat flows through the copper bars into the outer structure, which is cooled by fluid. This allows the winding structure to act as a heat bridge that replaces the yoke's cooling role. Copper is an excellent conductor of heat, so using thick bars improves temperature control. The windings now perform three functions at once. They carry current, they transfer mechanical load, and they move heat into the cooling system. This multifunctional behavior is what makes the entire dual rotor concept work. And because the bars are straight and rigid, they can be manufactured more easily than complex round wire coils, which need winding machines and careful insulation. Straight bars can be placed by robots, shaped precisely, and locked into a truss structure with high repeatability. This is crucial for mass production. These windings are easy to underestimate when looking at the motor, but they are the feature that unlocks high torque, high efficiency, low materials, and scalable manufacturing all at once. Performance gains, material savings, and real-world benefits. Once the motor's structure is stable and cool, the advantages begin to show. Deep Drive offers two main versions of their motor, an in-wheel unit and a central drive unit. Many people worry about in-wheel motors adding unsprung mass, which can affect handling. But in practice, the deep drive system is light enough that the effect is small. Suspension systems today are far better at controlling wheel motion, and lighter in-wheel motors are now becoming more common. Renault even selected an in-wheel motor for the sports version of their new Renault 5 Turbo 3E, showing that performance cars can benefit from this layout. People who tested Deep Drive's prototypes reported that the motor felt smooth, responsive, and stable. The performance numbers explain why. The Deep Drive engine produces over 2,000 newton meters of torque while weighing only 34 kilograms. It reaches a peak power of 180 kilowatts, and because the power is applied directly at the wheels, losses in the drivetrain drop dramatically. This improves efficiency, especially during city driving, where cars spend most of their time at lower loads. Deep Drive reports around a 20% improvement in efficiency over a full real-world driving cycle. Material savings are equally impressive. Even though there are two rotors, the efficient magnetic path allows the magnet use to be cut in half. Iron content drops by around 80% because the yoke is gone. These reductions lead to a cost decrease of about 30% per newton meter of torque. That is a remarkable improvement in an industry where efficiency gains are usually measured in single digits. Automakers have taken notice. Deep Drive already has partnerships with major manufacturers, including BMW, and plans to begin small-scale production in 2026, followed by high-volume manufacturing in 2028. If the company can scale the technology as planned, this motor could shape the next generation of electric vehicle design. Deep Drive's motor is a powerful example of how rethinking one part of a system can reshape the entire design. By challenging the role of the yoke and replacing it with a winding structure that is both mechanical and thermal, the engineers unlocked a new way to build efficient electric motors. The dual rotor layout became practical only because the windings could take on far more responsibility than usual. With lower material use, higher torque, and easier manufacturing, this design could influence many future electric vehicles. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoy deep engineering analysis, consider subscribing for more breakdowns like this.